Hi, this is Russ Bucher from Control My Nikon, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you could use a standard PowerPoint remote to control your camera through Control My Nikon. A PowerPoint remote is really just a mini keyboard. The Windows operating system treats it like any other keyboard that you would plug into your computer, whether it's wired or wireless. I have an example of one here. This is a fairly cheap PowerPoint remote and there's lots of different ones out there from a very inexpensive to a bit more expensive, wireless, wired. It really doesn't matter as long as they have several buttons on them and they can be used for PowerPoint, you're good to go. Now in this particular one, it has uh, a wireless Bluetooth connection, so it has a USB dongle that I'll plug in. And I'm just going to plug it into this uh, netbook. And that's it. I mean, you have several buttons on it, and now we just need to configure your PowerPoint remote to be used within Control My Nikon. Now within Control My Nikon, you have a keyboard shortcuts screen, and if you caught the earlier tutorial on how to use keyboard shortcuts, it shows you exactly how to configure these different Control My Nikon commands to be activated by using a key. Well, since the PowerPoint remote is really just another keyboard, we're going to map the buttons on the remote to the different functions. So let's say, for example, that you wanted one of the buttons on your PowerPoint remote to release the shutter. So uh, I'm going to make it uh, shoot. So I'll just double, uh, first of all, put a check mark here beside use PowerPoint remote. And then I'll double click here by shoot. And now I'm going to press the button on my remote that I want to use for shooting. Okay, I'll press the button now. And you can see it put in a page down. And that's really the button I selected on the remote just sends a page down to the uh, Windows operating system. So it doesn't matter if you are in PowerPoint or Control My Nikon or Internet Explorer at the time, when you press that button, the system is getting a page down, just like you press the page down key on your keyboard. But let's say I also wanted to AF and shoot. And uh, so I'm going to double click on that. I'll press a different button on my PowerPoint remote, which happens to be page up. Some of the more inexpensive PowerPoint remotes only have two buttons, and, and that's fine. Uh, this one I have has an extra two buttons on it, one's a toggle, so you could take those and you can map these to a different uh, commands if you like. So let's give this a try. I'm currently connected to an Icon D7000, and I'll just pop on live view here. We have a, uh, a flower. I'm going to change the preset here in a white balance. Okay, so we're going to take a picture of that. I won't do it in uh, live view though, although you could if you wanted to. One of the advantages of this remote is that you can be in live view and capture an image remotely. If you are using live view with Control My Nikon and you use a standard Nikon remote, uh, whether it's infrared or um, otherwise, it will not trigger the shutter while you're in live view. So this is a great way to get around that. Just use one of these cheap PowerPoint remotes. Okay, so let's give it a try. So I've mapped the shoot uh, functionality to the page down button. And now on my PowerPoint remote, I'm just going to press the button. And it captures the image. And displays it here on the image viewer. Okay, so that one uh, just did uh, a shoot. If I wanted it to AF and shoot first, I'll use my other button, which I mapped. Uh, so uh, I'll press that, and it did a little bit of focusing, and it uh, basically looks the same because the previous image was already focused. So uh, there you go. That's a great way to uh, be able to use these inexpensive PowerPoint remotes to remote control your camera. They're very handy, especially if you're doing bracketing using the uh, the bracketing function where you might set up an HDR sequence and now you don't want to touch your camera or don't want to touch your keyboard which may be attached to your tripod and so you just use one of these remotes to activate it. This is very simple. And that's it. That's how you use a PowerPoint remote with Control My Nikon. Happy tethering.